Just know this, if you're gonna see tenant, plan to see it twice. The, the first time, you need to watch it normally. Then the second time, go inverted and watch it again. You will get the story. Let's talk about it. Welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin. If you're just meeting me for the first time, and today we are talking about Tenet. <laughs> the movie that I watched for six bucks. I can't believe it. Yeah, I have the I have the artifact now. I have my Tenet box right here. Okay, no, not no tires on that one. I had just bought this box. Um, it's a condition one box uh, for which I got a review coming up. I got a set of them, but I just bought this one. I was doing a documentary in um, somewhere in Chino Hills. I had my stuff, all some of my stuff, uh, gears in this box. Proud of the color, you know, flexing with it, like you know, this is cool and all that. I finished up the first half of the shoot, and I had about three hours you know, to burn before I get, before we start up the next, uh, the final lap of the shoot. So I was like, what can I do in th with three hours? What can I do, what can I do? And uh, all of a sudden the, the idea came up to me like, I could sleep. <laughs> I could just chill in the car because it's way from, far from home, or go watch a movie. I've always wanted to watch a movie and, um, but in Palm, the way I live, it's like an hour from LA. I just couldn't make out the time to drive one hour to go see this movie because the cinemas in my zone were not open yet due to COVID. So I already heard that some parts of LA opened up their cinemas and stuff. I gave them a card and they swiped and I saw the, the ticket, six bucks, six bucks. They really want you guys to watch it twice or maybe three or four times. You know, just pretty happy about this new color I found. It's like, a, it feels like a red Komono new camera that's out there. Yeah, it just felt like I, you know, I bought one of those. So I love the color orange a lot. And I was just so, you know, proud of my box, my new box. And next thing I got to the cinemas, I was watching Tenet and I saw them through this, the same color, this kind of box. Like, I was like, hey, that's my box, that's my box, yeah. Well, bottom line is, it look like my box. I'll make a review later, if you're interested in that. But, let's get back to Tenet. This is not gonna be a spoiler review. I'm just gonna be ranting here and there about the movie without actually saying anything, okay? Um, not because I wanna burn time, but I've got some really important points to talk to filmmakers about. Number one is about courage like believe in yourself and that's what i've seen noticed about christopher nolan director for this uh movie and all interstellar inception those are bold movies you could see him daring to even surpasses his previous works you know that's a man that's growing you know i'm i'm really 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 Proud of him. Christopher Nolan killed this one. <laughs> Don't worry, that was a spoiler scene, but no comments about it. For me, that was my best scene, you know? That was my best scene. No more talks about that. But here, yeah, I'm going to talk around it without really giving up anything because uh, I want a lot of people to watch it. I don't like spoilers. 
you know but i'm i'm still going to do a make a spoiler video because i want to break down a lot there's a lot i want to break down if you're new here subscribe so you can watch that i know you probably have seen other people's um reviews of that of that but this is well let me not say filmmaker it's an aspiring filmmaker's thought you know if about the movie I, I i have a lot to say a lot to share that you probably not even noticed but one of the things i can talk right now without even giving things up is filmmakers need to be bold we need to believe in themselves you cannot make anything epic if you doubt yourself that's the easiest way to feel when you believe in yourself and you still get it wrong that's okay you won't be far from right right but if you doubt yourself you'll be far from right you'll be so it will be so bad that it will be bad of course listen to people take advice but trust your guts and do go ahead and do what no one else has done before 10 net like either way you spell it tenant let's take it backwards tenant oh let's invert it tenant what smart now from the trailer you probably already know that there are people moving forward like on a regular life like living but there are people who are, who are coming from the future and reversing or in, inverted yeah i mean it's just awesome the content the creation the idea and how they pull it off how they try to make it real like it was possible some well thought situations that could occur from that happening yeah, like the gas marks and stuff like that i mean i was blown away i need to give a round of applause to the crew to the cast uh to the director for most of all to washington man that was some hard stuff to pull off because you know he's not just he's not one muscle guy you know like like you know people will want to present a character in the movies you know he's confident he's he doesn't look do it that way but he is confident you know it's just a wreck figure you know and and um it shows uh, it shows that christopher nolan's got a vision you know in his head you know it it's it's hard to think about uh, about uh, um, John as the character right fit for this movie but he killed it it's just like he was made for this you know the fight sequence the um his style you know he made it look real he he, he really gave it his all you know when I saw the behind of behind the scenes his practice and everything you know to be able to fight reverse that's not that's no joke it's a funny art like what you know he did admit it was it was difficult but even in 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 the behind the scenes in this practice in this interview he did mention that he sounded pretty much like himself in the movie which was like you'll be surprised they said it was going to be a hard you know fight sequence and he, he said something like i may surprise you i want you to think filmmakers you guys think how hard it was to pull off this movie in the same screen some people are moving forward and some people are moving backwards you know like reverse is going on on the same screen uh, people are oh my god how how would you shoot that how would you edit that how would the editor i mean i need to know you know what the i mean i think in my head what the editor went through that's another ball game it's another ball game like the film crew uh what's his name the uh, dop van van i'll write the name on the screen you know van van like van heis or something like that um of course the same guy who shot i think he probably shot in Tastella with him he shot a couple of videos with him yeah he shot it on the imac but he usually likes to shoot on film um but um one thing about him is that he likes to get his his rig handheld he likes to even the imax that 
most people don't want to carry it because it's so large. He carries them. He carries the IMAX. He loves to carry the IMAX because he loves his handheld clips. And of course, they make it real, you know, especially for a movie like this. You want to be involved. You want you want it to be like um, part of it. Like you, that's that's the only way to uh, you know to make it real, to make the experience real, feel real. Yeah. So um, good job to, uh, on the uh, DOP there. Good job to the director, arts department, design, and casting director. Whoever was in charge of that did an awesome job. 10 out was 10 out, was 10 over 10. It's just mind blowing that some, somebody thought about that and then went on to do it, <laughs> to put money in it and actually do it. You know, what if after putting all the money in it, it looks like crap, like, I guess we sh shouldn't have done this. There's no way people are going to buy into this. Like, we just wasted a lot of money. But they did it. They crashed the plane, a real plane, you know, into, of course, a staged um, set, but they did it. I think it's a bold move. It's something that we should learn from every aspiring director. You know, you want to put your statement out there. You want to um, show that you're evolving every time you make a movie. You don't make a movie every day. So um, if it is three, four, five months, one year before your next movie, that's enough time to grow. So every time you get back to this screen, you know, to bring in that something, you have to show that you've evolved. If you haven't seen this movie, please plan to watch it. Um, I don't know where else they sell it for um, six bucks. I, is the f I've never paid six bucks for any movie in my life. Okay, well, back home in Nigeria, I probably paid even less than six bucks. <laughs> By the time you convert it though, um, yeah, it's probably less than six bucks. But the bottom line is in the US here, since I came to the US, I've never paid six bucks for a movie. Maybe it's because it's been out for a while, but yes, um, in the cinemas, um, I only saw one person, you know, it's dark, it was dark, but there might have been some other person, but maybe three or four at the most. So it is a safe time to go watch. Um, there's spacing. If you ha if you live close by where, where you could see the movie, please do go and see the movie, um, especially if you're a filmmaker and, you know, the music movie wasn't 100% perfect, but then again, that, that is subjective. Okay, um, one thing I guarantee is that you will enjoy it, okay, and um, you will learn. If you're into film, you will learn, you know, you'll be inspired, that's the, that's the word, you'll be inspired, you know, and um, that's the key, that's, you don't want to joke with anything that will, you know, move you forward, that will keep, keep you motivated. You know, so that's what that film did for me. Um, not that I'm going to make a movie like his, but, you know, I'm going to go a little bit crazy on my kind of film. So, um, yeah, you know, you know, I'm going to just take it a little bit to the next level. And that's what everybody needs to do. Everybody needs to learn, get inspired, get motivated, encourage each other and grow. Thank you guys for watching. Go see the movie. Subscribe to the channel, come back and let's talk about the breakdown, the spoiler version and go in depth and you know, I've got a lot to say already but I know if I see it the second time, I've got a lot more to say and that could be dangerous. So see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to comment, yeah, I would love to hear your version if you've seen it, what you think about it and um, you know, did you like it? Did you not like it? What's wrong with you? But of course, that's okay. Not everybody will love it. Oh, the documentary, by the way, the documentary, do watch out for the documentary that I shot. You know, I'll, I'll show it on the channel um, when it's out. But I'll do the behind the scenes as well and um, a little bit of breakdown 
on my work process, thought process, you know, lighting breakdown and uh, gears used. I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to touch everything. So if that's something you like, um, watch out and stay subscribed. Thank you guys. I appreciate your time for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.